the terms which should be clear in your mind number one is what is the difference between meningitis meningitis and encephalitis right you need to encephalitis right we should know the difference in the, these two terms and then uh, we must know the difference between two more terms one is cerebritis cerebr Writers and other is we should compare it with cerebral abscess, cerebral abscess, right? So let's talk about first meningitis and encephalitis. How do we really define meningitis? Meningitis definition is very simple. Uh, it is inflammation of meninges, right? But really, really, it's not the exact definition, right? Let me make it more clear. As you know, let's suppose here is your central nervous system, right? And the layer which is protective layer which is intimately related with central nervous system that is called which layer? Yes, pia mater. This pia mater, right? Pia mater is surrounded by one more layer and this outer layer is called just arachnoid matter. What is it? Arachnoid matter and pia matter and arachnoid matter, right? Uh, together, these two delicate membrane. This is arachnoid matter. This is pia matter, and together they are called leptomeninges. Why they are called leptomeninges? What is the meaning of lepto? Sir, it is thin, delicate. Yes, anything which is delicate. These two are very delicate membranes, right? They are very thin membranes, so we call them. Leptomeninges. Then outside that, there is a very thick membrane, and this thick membrane is called dura matter, right? This is called dura matter. Dura means tough, so this is very tough membrane, right? This is dura matter. This diagram is not anatomically correct, it is just for functional diagram for understanding purpose. So basically, central nervous system is covered by three layers, protective layers. Uh, from outside, if we move inside, outside there is dura matter which is fibrous and tough membrane, right? Then there are two delicate membranes. Inside there is arachnoid matter and pia matter and in between the arachnoid layer and the pile layer, there are trabeculae meshwork, right? And this meshwork is filled with, what is this fluid? Yes, CSF, cerebrospinal fluid but cerebrospinal fluid is also present into okay what is it yes cerebrospinal fluid is also present in ventricular system like lateral ventricles third ventricle and then there is this equiduct of sylvius fourth ventricle and spinal canal so cerebrospinal fluid is present in ventricular system within the central nervous system and CSF also right moves out through a median foramen which is called foramen majendi and there are two lateral foramen which are called foramen lushka right now actually if we really properly define meningitis right usually when we talk about meningitis, we talk about inflammation of leptomeninges, not the inflammation of dura matter, right? So, now, so we can say meningitis means leptomeningitis. Conventionally, when doctors are talking with each other and they are referring to meningitis, they are basically talking about what? Leptomeningitis, right? But if dura matter is inflamed in some situation, what that meningitis is called? Okay, ma. My question is, when pia and arachnoid are inflamed, an inflammatory exudate also fills up the CSF space, uh, subarachnoid space, right? Again, let me repeat it. Meningitis should be divided. Number one is lepto meningitis. Lepto meningitis is inflammation of pia, arachnoid, and plus. There is inflammation in of CSIF because there is inflammatory exudate and inflammatory cell uh, in the subarachnoid space between the pia and arachnoid, right? So, pia matter, arachnoid matter, and CSF present in subarachnoid space. CSF in subarachnoid space, right? 
so this is lepto meningitis but commonly when we say meningitis actually in medical community we mean lepto meningitis but if some rare occasion uh, inflammation is limited to dura matter especially when it comes from outside right let's suppose there's some trauma and some organism directly enter and initially they involve the dura matter and if there is predominantly inflammation of dura matter what is that called yes very good pachy meningitis excellent dr ali amir pachy meningitis but don't put too much burden on your little brain uh, because pachy meningitis is not very common right so keep think simple meningitis mean most of the time lepto meningitis so lepto meningitis is inflammation of pia matter arachnoid matter and subarachnoid space and csf right and now we come to what is the real difference between meningitis and encephalitis yes anyone what is the difference between meningitis and encephalitis very good now dr nadeem is telling us that encephalitis means inflammation of brain parenchyma but you have to be more elaborate because actually cerebritis is also inflammation of brain parenchyma brain cerebral abscesses are also have inflammatory reaction within the brain parenchyma so dear doctor how would you differentiate excellent actually when there is generalized inflammation of brain parenchyma very good i am impressed when there is generalized or diffuse inflammation of brain parenchyma it is encephalitis when there is generalized or diffuse inflammation of lepto meninges it is meningitis so these two inflammations which is lepto meninges inflammation and brain parenchymal inflammation these two inflammations are actually diffuse and generalized is that right now when we come to cerebritis cerebritis is relatively localized inflammation of brain parenchyma and cerebral abscess is also localized so then again the question is what is the difference in cerebritis and cerebral abscess i don't think anyone can answer except you cerebral hemisphere is involved then it's called cerebritis while cerebral abscess is more localized it can be in any cerebral hemisphere i think now he got overconfident and he came with a definition which is only he knows uh, he is mentioning cerebritis as inflammation of cerebral hemisphere this is what you are mentioning cerebellum. okay cerebellum now okay you have shifted to cere oh you are trying to confuse me i'm sure no 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 before i ask you something else i should must tell what it is really difference dr nadeem let me make it clear to you what is the difference in cerebritis and cerebral abscess i will go back meningitis and encephalitis are generalized inflammation cerebritis and cerebral abscess are localized inflammation in the central nervous system now let me tell you if the inflammatory process if inflammatory process has involved the parenchyma of the brain in a localized fashion right and inflammatory patch of parenchyma inflammatory area of parenchyma is not capsulated it is called cerebritis that's the real difference if you go by the horizon right and if there is inflammatory process which uh, eventually lead to liquefactive necrosis and localized pus formation with capsulation then it is cerebral abscess the real difference in uh, cerebritis and cerebral abscess is that cerebritis is basically uncapsulated inflammation local localized uncapsulated inflammation of parenchyma of central nervous system right and cerebral abscesses actually first we should know the definition of abscess abscess is localized pus is that right uh, there is some area in which there is localized pus and of course every abscess has some sort of capsulation around it fibroblastic reaction and walling off effort by the body defenses is that right cerebritis here is an inflammation which has which is spreading in a relatively local area within the central nervous system but yet it is not capsulated and many times many a times if cerebritis is not treated well and 
it undergoes put as you can say liquefactive what necrosis very good and eventually pus formation and around it if around the focus of cerebritis uh, fibroblasts actually glioblasts are here gliocytes are here and gliosis occur and capsule formation occur then we say the focus of cerebritis is converted into cerebral abscess so these general terms are clear